Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today I want to make a short video trying to solve a simple problem with a simple solution. Last night I was on Facebook in a firewood cutting slash chainsaw group and someone posed the question, how do you keep your chainsaws from sliding around in your truck when you're hauling them? And I saw some simple solutions and I saw some overly complicated or overly expensive solutions that seemed unnecessary to me. I started thinking about Buck and Billy Ray. I don't know how many of you guys watch Billy Ray, but I love that guy. Anyway, I've seen him with a big block of wood in the back of his truck that just has slots cut in it and he just sets his saws into those slots. And I tried to think, I'm not like Billy Ray running firewood every day. I wanna be able to have something that I can easily take in and out because I haul all kinds of different things and I have to be able to access the gooseneck. So I decided to build something cheap and simple to solve that problem. So I built this ahead of time and I'm just gonna show you what I did. If you look at the fender wells on a truck, they have the spot six inches wide that you can set a two by four in. And I decided to take advantage of that. So I bought some four by fours. All I bought was two six foot long four by fours and realized it would be better to have something six inches wide at the base. So I screwed some two by six blocks onto a four by four. You could buy a four by six if you wanted. So this piece just sets in the truck bed. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. So now that that bar is on there, I just took a chainsaw. First I measured the widest power head I had with this three quarter wrap handle was 11 inches, so I made marks every 12 inches along that board. Then I took a saw and held it at about this angle that it's gonna sit, and I cut a groove in at each mark on the board, one foot apart. Now I have spots for five chainsaws. That holds the bar, but of course I wanted the head of the saw to be held still as well. So I took that second four by four, and I set the saws in each spot on that front bar and made marks on the back bar for the handle to set in. So I set this in place and it's actually held here because there are some chain hooks on the bed that hold that right in place. This cost me about $12 for two four by fours. I built it in about an hour. I can now hold five chainsaws and the spots in between the saws are gonna be a good place to set your fuel can and your bar and chain oil, your chaps, helmet, anything else you're taking with you should tuck in between those spots. And I still have half the bed open for any other gear I'm taking. And I can leave this in there. If, if I'm doing nothing but tree jobs for a couple weeks, I can just leave that in there. But if I don't have anything coming up, those two posts are just gonna set in the corner next to where I hang my chainsaws. I think it's gonna be a handy solution. I appreciate you taking time to watch. I'll put links over here to more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.